Nothing like a roaring fire on Christmas. Wouldn't you agree, Crimson Cranium? Oh, that's Christmas Cranium to you, Denied Nine. Oh. <laughs> uh, Christmas Cranium, I, I get it. Yeah, Christmas is a great shade of red. Next to Coca-Cola. That's not what I was talking about, but you seem to be in an especially good mood this year, Denied Nine. What's going on? Oh, you think so? Oh, that, that's nice, I guess, but I don't know. My Christmas has been kind of sour. Really now? Why is that? Well, I watched something recently. A Christmas short. A TV special. And everything about it was just... It was awful. Animation, voice acting, pacing, everything was awful. I... It's hard to put into words just how bad everything is. I just... Now, I wish I could just describe it. To, I wish I could describe it. Just... But I can't right now. I just gotta bring it myself together. It, it was horrendous though. You know? You have to see it to believe it. Because it looks unbelievable. Sounds like you got a lot to say about it. Actually... You know what? I'll do a review on it. That's right. I'll do a review. Because I've... Because, well, it's bad enough to talk about, and it, I'm long overdue for a Christmas special. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's do it. Raul, you want to be in the Christmas special with me? Uh, you never want to do anything, do you, you good, good for nothing little lazy twit? Oh. Oh well, that's quite unfortunate. Anyway, start the video. Oh, well, hello there, all viewers of this video. It's that time of the year, it's everyone's favorite joyous time. It's Christmas. Yep, this is quite unusual for me, I know. I usually am a spooktacular kind of guy, but I figured, eh, why not? Let's have a little Christmas special because I'm feeling quite good about it. It's, I'm feeling ecstatic about the, the time of the year, and I've quite recently talked about something, something, something special for all of you. So, back on Halloween, I talked about Scary Godmother, the uh, made-for-TV Halloween special. It looked a little odd, a little unusual, you know, the, the, the animation was a bit dated and doesn't really hold up by you know, today's standards, but it was still very fun, charming, and genuinely enjoyable. Uh, it's I, it was just a great a great little watch and I can see why it's a cult classic you know um, so I figured you know what let's do something similar for for Christmas but you know we're, we're not looking at anything like iconic or even beloved like the snowman or Rudolph the red nosed reindeer no we're looking at something quite terrible quite abominable some something that is I would not recommend because it is so terrible um, Literally every single aspect. This is a special that was so bad, it aired once a year and it, it never, it aired like a few times the year and it never aired again. In fact, for a long time, it was actually lost media until someone got the file and uploaded it to like Daily Motion or YouTube. You can find it on YouTube right now as I speak. It is crazy. The full thing, the full thing is like 40 minutes long. So, uh, without further ado, behold, Rap City Street Kids. Oh my, how appalling. Just, just look at it. Look at it. Look at these images. Look at these animations. Everything about this film is, is wrong. It all looks terrible. I, I could go into like hours about how bad this is every this is the entire movie. This whole thing. It's it's disgusting. Yeah man, you said it Raul. Holy moly. It's it's quite terrible. <laughs> Oh yeah, speaking of the company, it, it was made by an animation studio called 
Wolf Tracer Studios, and it was directed by a man called Colin Slater. Um, they are, as far as I'm aware, not an established company. In fact, this is like the only thing they've ever worked on. This singular film. And they just, I guess they went out of business. They, they discontinued. It, it was just done after that. So, uh, yeah. Interesting stuff. So, we're dealing with amateurs, I, I suppose. Okay, this has gone on for too long. Let's just delve into the film. Shall we? Our film begins with a rather slow title crawl. I mean, it's only about a minute long, like literally just a minute, but since it moves so slow, it takes like, it feels like it takes five minutes. We're then introduced to this kid who's rapping about Christmas and well, let's subpar, I mean, listen to it yourself. I saw a scooter with a motor that was flat. I hope there's room in Santa's sleigh just for that. Have I been called upon by the good Lord himself? Oh, sis you to that man. What up? Well, access three, I, I thought, what are you doing here? I thought you were dead, what, what, what's up? Oh yeah, you mean how you gra grabbed me by my feet, dragged me through here, and just threw me back in there? Nah, nah, nah. There's no way I go down like that. We're all dead anyway. Anyway, I was just minding my own business, I listened to my own sick beats and whatnot, and then I hear I hear these these songs, it's like this musical, and I figured I gotta I gotta check these out. I gotta rate them. I gotta do it as a, as a musician myself. You know what I'm saying? I got I gotta do it. You know? I gotta check this stuff out. What do you say? Let me, you're reviewing something, right? Of course you are, of course you are. Cause yeah, that's all, that's what you do, that's your thing, I get it. How about I review these songs for you? Cause uh, in some, there's gonna be a little, a few of them, right? Let me uh, check them out. You're really gonna review the rapping from a children's program. Hey, shut your non-existent lips, Cranium. You're just a head. You're just a, nothing but a head. All you do is your, your head things. You do your head stuff. Bro, you want to come back in here? The, the, the boys in there can fix you up even further if you want. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, let's get to this, uh, this first song. You want to be in the video? Alright, fine. You can do a better job than you did last year with that shitty track door cover. All right, rate this, would ya? It was the week before Christmas that I'm talking. I spent the day shopping with my grandma walking. All through the crowded mall, the pump and deck, the halls, my trees with lights and all, and I'm just gawking. Cause all the toy stores are looking mighty packed. Electronic toys, video games, balls and bats. I saw a scooter with a motor that was flat. I hope there's room in Santa's sleigh just for that. I've been told this time of year is forgiven. Give to please others, Santa, this is how I'm living. But if you kindly find the time, deliver gifts 7, 8, 9 from my list. I'm not selfish, I'm just driven. I've been a good boy through the year, you better know it. Get ready Santa Claus to start decking the halls with gifts from my Christmas list. Though it's cold outside, it's warm in my soul. Gotta get a gift to give the beautiful Nicole. Alright, let's actually uh, review uh, this for a minute. So, I'm not sure who this kid is or what he's supposed to be, but uh, you know, he's a, uh, we get, we get a little bit about him. So he's, he's there at like the, the first week before Christmas, you know, he's talking, right? He's, he says he was his grandma. I'm not seeing anything, but he is certainly walking. He says he got a lot to ask for. He's gonna ask his present for seven, eight, nine. I, I'm not sure what he means by that. He's not selfish though. Our boy is not selfish. He's just driven. Any good artist is driven. They're motivated. They are. They're always, they don't give up no matter what. And he's been a good boy through the years, talking to Santa Claus. And then he's gonna get his present for someone named uh, Nicole or something. I don't know, maybe she's some, uh, some woman, some, some girl, some thought or something, I don't know. One, two, three is all I see. One, two, three, and no more. Ah, 
very mixed up, very missed opportunity for a rhyme. He could have been like, one, two, three, it's all I see. One, two, three, not enough for me. It's simplistic, it's a simplistic rhyme, but it, it, it's, a, it's a rhyme that works. It's, it's, it's got a good flow to it, you know? Uh, the kid's flow, it's not bad. Lyrics are, well, they're, they're, he's freestyling for sure. Definitely freestyling, but uh, he's a, it, it's, a, it's not a bad start for, for uh, up and coming. They'll do some, just need some work, that's all. But yeah, uh, not bad start, kid. Keep at it. Since the film will introduce him, I will. This is Ricky, our main character of sorts. He's a poor kid living in Rap City, which I guess is a district of Detroit or something, I don't know. He's voiced by Walter Emmanuel Jones, who's most famous for playing the Black Ranger in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. That's the funny thing about this film. It, it has a lot of established, like, big actors in this film. But despite it being, like, really low budget and, like, made by a studio that's doing, like, one thing, they got a bunch of big names in it. Like, you, uh, you'll notice, I'll point them out as the characters come up. It, it's really unusual. You will not... You will be surprised at who shows up. Like, actors who are still pretty huge to this day. And still have... And still get roles. Like, these are big names that we're talking about. Also, just quick side note. The shop is called Ye Old Toy Store. And it's clearly modeled after someone's home. Well, something just broke. Mama, I miss you big. Mama, you gave me this bear because of love. So I'll give this bear because of love. I should also mention as well, the dialogue in this film is awful. It's, it's just terrible. <sighs> Nicole. Then we instantly cut to them going to school, like instantly. It is, there's no seamless cut at all. Here's Nicole, by the way, uh, Ricky's crush. And not even like f five seconds after meeting her, she's already viciously assaulted by uh, Smithy here, the kid in the scarf. Smithy! Hey, Nicole Duck! I mean, dinosaur! <laughs> We're then introduced to these three goons of sorts. And I want you to pay attention to the one in the orange shirt and tell me if he sounds familiar. Let's just see what Ricky Rhyme Master can do. <laughs> but don't get a swelled head. You're still not one of us, shrimp. No, man, that's a lot of tough breaks. <laughs> All over the place. <laughs> yep, that's Nancy Cartwright. El Barto herself. Note for later, put rubber spider down Lisa's dress. <laughs> We just met you, literally. We're then introduced to their teacher, who I'm pretty sure hates them all, and her job. Class, sit down. You too, young Miss Nicole. Now sit down, police. I said after recess because I need a recess. I think I'll ask Santa for a vacation to a beautiful, quiet island. That's cool. Spin round and round and find the ground. Pow! What, what was that? What, what happened there? Mmm, look at that lovely PNG car. Ain't that cool looking? That looks great. We then get a montage of uh, them playing in the snow, and it, it's honestly really boring. Nothing happens at all. I mean, Todd does kill Smithy. I mean, that happens at least. Share all the love and joy. <laughs> But oh no, Smithy strikes back. It's not the presence. I'm gonna get you, Smithy! Then Smithy just gets chased through the ice and yeah, it goes on for too long. Moving along, moving along! We're then introduced to Nicole's friend, Lene. 
Oh, hey, that is so cool. I wish I had one. Here. Cheap is not cool, Lene. Nicole is voiced by Paige O'Hara, and Lene is voiced by Jodie Benson, which is interesting because they both played Disney princesses. O'Hara played Belle in Beauty and the Beast, and Jodie played Ariel in The Little Mermaid. Hey, Ricky, where'd you get the ratty old bear? Does it walk you home from school? He probably has music playing in his head the way he's rocking back and forth. Cool. Hey, dude, can I listen? Well, I, I was waiting for Nicole. Oh, and they and they just leave. Like, are these guys bullies or what? They're they're too nice. They're too passive. Anyway, Ricky gives the bear to Nicole like we saw earlier in his dream. This is from the heart. Merry Christmas, Nicole. Have you lost your mind? Are you purposely trying to embarrass me? I can't even exchange this nasty old thing. <laughs> You might be smart with books, but you sure are stupid. Uh-oh. Ricky's going full-on incel mode. There's no stopping him now. Speaking of which, why are you running towards the road? I don't... You're gonna get hit, you, you idiot. Ricky! Who gave you that candle? Oh, that is a really mean thing to say. That's a weird thing to say. Like, you know Ricky can't hear you, right? It's like you said tonight, Nine. The dialogue is awful. Oh, <laughs> see, uh, kids nowadays. Oh yes, the best character in the film, Ricky's great grandmother, played by the Deborah Wilson, and she talks like that for most of the film. Oh my baby must be sending letters. I'll be back in a hurry, great grandma. Always in a hurry. Now Ricky shows off his amazing letter throwing skills, which I, I think he does. He just sort of. Uh, it just sort of flies away or he throws I don't know it goes all over the place maybe he dropped it he's putting that in the letter box but how is it flying around like that hope you get lots of stuff I know I will what do you think Santa will bring you this year <laughs> you still believe in Santa Claus that's so last year yeah, Lene, you gotta be like a 10-year-old to believe in Santa Claus. Come on, we're we're, growing, we're like 11 now. Come on. <laughs> Santa Claus! Now we're in Nicole's place, and wow, I've never seen any more robotic animation in my life. Like, it, it, you can never get used to this. Look at me. Look and you'll see the best kid in the world. <laughs> look at me, look and you'll see just how good I can be. Cause on Christmas Eve, <laughs> old Santa will see. Wait, didn't you say you didn't believe in Santa? You literally just said that to your friend, like, a few minutes ago, literally a few minutes ago. All right, now for this one, the singing voice is a little better. You know, yeah, you know, like the the, the 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 voice actress, she's a, a established singer, as she's had some work singing before, I suppose. And now, this one feels a little bit repetitive, a bit too long than it should actually be because she's the song is too repetitive. It's just like a lot of. Look at me, I'm so great. I get straight A's. I'm not sure why you would have to brag about getting your homework in all the time. That's not a hard thing to do. I mean, sometimes you can just not sit in your homework at all or just get it done uh, not, before, not long before class starts. I mean, it's simple. Kids, you do your homework, got it? Do your homework. Don't be a scrub like me, like I once was. But uh, yeah, there's not much to say about this one. It's uh, it's too long. It's too long for uh, its own good. You know, um, it, it's fine. Man, this guy is getting on my nerves. Him and his prospects of becoming a rapper and stuff. Even Nicole gave him a special bear that mommy... Oh no, Ricky. 
What have I done? Wait, where did this sudden change of heart come from? She just reads this letter and she's like, Oh no, Ricky, what have I done? This is awful. But how did this come? How did this come about? Like, did that really, did that letter really just change your mind that suddenly? That's weird. You just got to go for an edit. Isn't that what Santa does? It was from my heart. Oh, <laughs> see, what is now? She doesn't get it. Oh, Christmas. Oh, how? Not even joking when I say this. The great grandma is like the best part of this whole short, and the way she talks, the way she moves, she sounds a lot like Raúl. <laughs> All right, the main objective now is to find Ricky's bear. And they investigate this abandoned house, I think? Jeez. You thought Scary Godmother looked bad. I thought it looked weird, admittedly, but... That looks, it looks so much better than, than this. After watching this, I have to, I really can't call Scary Godmother bad looking because, shoot, it, it came out just a year, uh, like less than a year before, uh, after, after Rhapsody Street Kids. That came out, Scary Godmother was released in 2003. This was made in 2002. That's how bad it is. Like, okay, I get it. Rhapsody Street Kids had probably a much lower budget than uh, Scary Godmother. That was made by an established company at the time, but jeez. There's no way you could have that low of a budget and make this. Like this, this is like something you make for literally a hundred quid. Like, how would you make something that, that bad looking? Did they really look at this and think, oh yeah, you know, this is, this is nice and this is well and, well and, well and done. Prepare, prepare everything. Let's air this tonight. Todd and the gang are hiding in the uh, dump site, talking about this plan of theirs. Even though you're you're about to see it, it's not much of a plan. It's just a thing that they they see. May I present to you now, the dogs. What? There are. Look at how horrendous those dogs look. They're like the worst animated thing in, in all of this. And what's better yet, they're, they're tiny. Those things are tiny. This is Todd's plan, by the way, just to get the dogs to chase them, even though it's not a plan. He, he, did they let them out? We don't know. Then Smithy uses anime powers and throws a sandwich at Todd, which causes the dogs to chase them now. <laughs> get him away from me! No! I want my mom! This is not cool, man. Remember when I said this might be set in Detroit? Well, this is what I'm talking about. What is this? Why does this look so shady? Why does it look so dirty? And oh, hey, look, the dogs are back. So they escape the dogs. They arrive back at Ricky's house. She goes over to Ricky to give him back the bear like any good person would. And then Ricky's like, nah, girl, this is for you. I gave it with love. And she just takes it. And uh, yeah, that's the, that's the scene right there. There's also a few scenes with Lene struggling with what Nicole told her. And I honestly just skip them because they're just really boring. And I'm only covering this one because there's a song that Lil Axis 3 wants to cover. And if we all believed in Santa, there will always be a Santa. Santa alive inside of me and you. Because we all believe in Santa, there will always be a Santa. This one is definitely the worst of the bunch. There's just, there's not a lot of creativity being put into this one. It's just a lot of missed opportunity for rhymes. Lots of missed opportunity for rhymes, actually. Just a lot of, do you believe in Santa? It's like, I mean, sure. It, it, there's no life to it, you know? There's no life to this song. These, these guys look a little lifeless. Like, where's the, where's the dancing, you know? Dance a little bit. You need some dancing. It, you know? Be like... 
put some, get some, you know, get into it, man. You gotta get into the, the, the song. You just can't sit there with your dad and just say this stuff, you know? Where's the life? Where's the heart, the heart to it? I, I'm not sensing any of it, you know? Not sensing one bit. Good night, daddy. Mm, I love you. I think I'm gonna go right now. I've had enough songs to know. That's some weird juju right there. Hey, you said it, man. Unfortunately, I have to finish this. Ugh. Uh, toodaloo, dog. I've got a weird feeling we've ruined his Christmas now. So I bought you a new suit. No surprises there. That's how I get most of my suits. <laughs> Is that Donald Trump? No, that's Mark Hamill, of course. Luke Skywalker, the Joker. Goro Majima. <laughs> this is the part where you're supposed to laugh! Laugh, you stupid motherfucker! I'm always deadly serious. Come on, <laughs> let's do this. You think you can take me, Kazuma Chan? Get ready. To get fucked up. Nicole goes to Ricky's house to get him his gift, which was a, a video box, which I don't know, is that like a VHS player or a console? I, I don't know. That's what he wanted, though. Peter. The horse is here. All the characters then go to Lene's house for some reason. You'd think it'd be Ricky since he's the main character after all. And then uh, Nicole uh, apologizes to Lene for what she said, and, and Lene forgives her because she's too good for Nicole. Let's be honest. She's too good of a soul. Then finally, we get the best line from the best character in the entire movie. Great Grandma, you always know just what to say. <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> yeah. Hey! What's that? Wow! Well, you sound so excited to see Santa Claus himself or a shitty PNG version of him. That's right, that's right. I believe in Santa. I should kill you. And a Merry Christmas to all. Shut that door. Yep, that sounds about right. I'm about to shut off this whole film now. And with that, concludes Rap City Street Kids. Yeah, it. It's, it's not that good. Um, there are much better things to watch on, uh, on the, the YouTubes that you, you might find. I, I would recommend like other things like The Snowman or Rudolph Red-Nosed Reindeer, uh, uh, the, the Peanuts special or the Family Guy Christmas special or The Simpsons, the first episode of The Simpsons, like, or just any Christmas film ever, like any of them at all, you know, that's much worth your time. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this is not worth it. This is not the one you want to see, right, Crimson Cranium? Yes, Tonight 9, it was truly awful. You're better off spending the time watching things that you truly love. Ah, beautiful words. Beautiful, beautiful words. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a happy Christmas, happy holidays, happy whatever the heck you celebrate. Don't matter to me, I hope you really enjoy it. So, uh, thank you, and we'll see you next year. Yes, 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 Merry Christmas. Now go away, video's over.